Iran's chief nuclear negotiator leaves Tehran for talks with world powers in Geneva. Thursday's talks follow Tehran test firing of missiles over the weekend, which came less than a week after the U.S., U.K., and France announced that Iran had an undeclared nuclear enrichment site. Ahead of the talks, the State Department said the Iranian foreign minister was visiting Washington to inspect the Iranian interest section at the Pakistan embassy. State Department spokesman P.J. Crowley. I think we're far more interested in uh, uh, having Iran come tomorrow to Geneva, uh, and, and we hope that they will be the ones who are offering uh, gestures that they are ready to address the concerns that the international community has. I wouldn't read too much into this. The meeting of Iran with six world powers will mark the beginning of what U.S. officials call an extraordinarily difficult process. Steve Clemens of the New America Foundation. If both sides at the beginning behave responsibly and civilly, it might be a very small step towards something very different. But I think it's important to keep low expectations. As Iran meets with representatives from the U.S., Britain, France, Germany, Russia, and China, it has already ruled out any discussion about its own atomic program. The White House is focusing for now on diplomatic efforts, but is considering sanctions targeting Iran's dependence on gasoline imports. Elon Berman of the American Foreign Policy Council. Given the maturity of their nuclear effort, waiting any longer to apply economic sanctions will really result in uh, essentially us playing into their strategy of uh, adding permanence to their nuclear effort, using negotiations as a foil to go nuclear. While the West fears Iran is seeking a nuclear weapon, Tehran maintains it is only seeking nuclear energy. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters.